Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome to newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new knife in from Voskeed and I'm going to check it out first time with all of you. It is going to be a good one. And why do I know? Because all of their knives end up, end up, and they end out, they end up being very nice. So you get the support stuff, you get a, oh, check it out! The Labrador has a Labrador sticker. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And you have a nice microfiber cloth, very nice tin uh, container, and check this out. Very nice pouch. Oh, did I say very nice enough? <laughs> ooh, 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 we got the green one. They had a first batch of these that like sold out, I don't know what, instantly, and then these just dropped and they are back in stock. This is the Vosteed Labrador. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Ooh, I like that green. That's a nice looking green. So this is going to be a longer blade. I already know. Let's let's check out the texture vision. Look at that nice fuzzy texture. <laughs> um, so texture, not heavy duty on the texture. About a 3.75, about a 4 on the texture. It does feel good. It's not super grippy. You do have a big lanyard hole. And it looks like we do not have a reversible pocket clip. It's a deep carry style pocket clip. But you're going to have a little bit, of, little bit of something out here to actually grab it out of your pocket. And here is a look. Um, okay, I wasn't sure if that was going to be a Labrador or Vosteed symbol. But you have a Vosteed symbol on the pocket clip. Their pocket clips do work very nice. Nice and springy, catchy catch it on something. Oh, and check this out. It's a front rear flipper, front ripper, front ripper. <laughs> it's a front flipper, rear flipper, and we have thumb studs. Okay, multiple deployment. And check this out. Very nice pivot collar. That is fancy. Kind of a bronzish, copperish. One of the two, but I do like their pivots. And it is a captured pivot. And they do have ceramic bearings. All right, you ready? I want to see this blade. Ooh, ooh, check this out. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this. Perfect jimping. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they nailed it on the jimping. I can already tell you that. First time feeling it. And pow, right in the kisser. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right, we have a little. Yours is a little longer there. It is nice, long blade on this one. This knife has a more classic sized and style well more of a classic style blade look at that drop point and if this one is the very the satin there's three different versions and i will put pictures up on the screen of all three versions i know one of them is like a black wash stone wash and uh, i can't remember what the third one there's a black micarta that's also available and it does feel nice it does look very nice i'm going to get you the specs real quick and this will take two seconds not even two seconds Here's your stats. It's 8.75 inches long. Your blade length's 3.72 inches with the sharpened length of 3.5 inches. Your blade stock is 119 thousandths of an inch, 17 thousandths of an inch behind the edge. And ooh, it feels sharp. And it's 3.4. Oh my goodness, it is so smooth. 3.45 ounces. This is going to be a drop shutter without a doubt. And the edge, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, is, is there any question? Vosteed always comes through. Listen to this, how quiet. Oh, wow, yes. It is super, super sharp. I know often a lot of people are like, hey, I need a bigger blade. This one is a bigger blade. Left and right, zero blade play. Up and down, absolutely solid. And what's our lockup? Lockup's right there in the middle in the sweet spot. And how about centering? Yep, we're centered. And in and out of my pocket. Oh yeah, like a glove, in and out is very, very comfortable. And look at this, nothing in your way, no screws, flat screws, so there's nothing to grab your pocket. Um, the only drawback there would be that it's not reversible. A couple quick size comparisons for you. You already know the QS Penguin and the Civivi Elementum. This is the Elementum 2 button lock. And yeah, this is not a little one. This is a step up for all you folks that want a little bit bigger knife. And here's the Kaiser Beg Lighter 2. Look at that, it's bigger than the Beg Lighter. And yeah, you got it. The Tenacious, the Spider Co Tenacious. Look at that, it's longer than all three of them. The handle's not as wide, it's more of a slim carry. So it's not gonna take up a lot of pocket space. And here's two more. Here's the Sativian ST131. And last but not least, the Civivi Praxis. I was trying to get a couple knives out there were a little bit longer and this one whoo yeah it has it has some length to it and if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button because i will keep you updated on new knives that are released and let's look 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 looky, looky here <laughs> so it does have some jimping on the lock face or on the uh on the lock bar it's not it's not aggressive and there is some jimping up here now this jimping 
Um, it looks like it started out pretty well, but it's not very deep. It's not aggressive. My finger's kind of running over. We'll see how that works here. Just a second. And you know that I'm looking at this. This looks more coppery to me than brass. But I can tell you for one thing that the jimping on this flipper, oh, it is so good. And if I forgot to say it before, I just weighed it. It weighs 3.45 ounces. Reverse flick. Yes, yeah, not a... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is get your foot, your thumb out of the way because it is going to shut on you, which I, is a good thing. The action is absolute butter. It is drop shut. <laughs> there is no resistance at all. If you've ever handled a bag lighter too, this has the, the action of a bag lighter too, if not better. It is just, it's, it's floating on air. So flipping out is easy. Reverse flick, regular flick with the thumb studs. Can we over, oh yeah, over the top is easy. Now I'm wondering how this is going to be on the ergos with that, that jimping, but flipping it over the top, the front flipper is very easy. And if you're, if you're curious about front flipping, you're not trying to use the front flipper like you use the rear flipper. You're acting like you're rolling it around the front of the knife. You're not actually trying to use it as a flipper. You just roll your thumb like that in a slow motion and then it, it'll come out a lot easier if you give that a try some folks have a little difficulty with that now the look at that the pull the flick your bick all of that works very well oh my goodness i look the the action is flawless i don't need to gawk about it or tell you any more it's that good and left-handed it's just as equally good the pass through is money plenty of room. This grabs your skin just right. It's not aggressive at all. My hand's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And how does it feel in the classic grip? Oh, it feels good. Now the jimping on in the classic grip, I'm, I don't even feel the jimping. I can barely, maybe if I dug my thumb in like this, but like this, it is not stopping my thumb at all. So there's no grippage from the jimping. And you do have a forward choil going on plenty of room for sharpening and unless you have some really big chunky fingers you can get your index finger up here just to do a little bit of that or a little bit of that and you do have kind of a trigger right here to rest your finger on but for push cuts and pull cuts the handle i'm um, getting no hot spots at all giving it the b squeeze it is comfortable the pocket clip is hiding itself because it is so such a low profile so i have no problems it has a great grip the action is phenomenal. This is what I would expect from them. And the top grip isn't bad. So using this jimping for my, for my uh, what do you call that? <laughs> my fourth, my first finger, my index finger, the jimping works very well to grab it. It just doesn't really grab with the thumb. So my only little, it might be nitpicks. That's just me as I like a little more aggressive jimping just to do a little more grabbage. But other than that, this is, uh, I mean, it's going to be a great workish slash gentlemanish type knife. It's not going to take up a lot of room in your pocket. I really like it. And these, uh, I have discount, there's discount codes in the description of this video where you can get $5 off one, 10 off two, three, 15 off of three of them. You can go check them out. I have the link down there. Vosteed is doing a phenomenal job with their knife releases. They are just, they're just so good. This is 154 CM blade steel, and these are running around 79 after you get that $5 off if you buy one of them. But I think this is a great overall everyday carry EDC knife for folks that want one with a little more length to it, a little more handle, maybe you have bigger hands, or you like a full-size handle with plenty of options. So let me know what you think about it. Definitely leave me a comment. And even if you're not interested in the knife, say hello to everybody. Say hi. Let me know how your day's going. I hope it's going fantastic. Go watch this video. You're going to really enjoy those knives. And until I see you in the chats or in the live streams or at the Hive stream every Friday night, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.